Penelope Cruz and Javier Bardem aren't just two of the hottest actors to ever hit the silver screen, they're two of the most attractive people to ever shack up together in real life as well. This notoriously private couple first met back in the early 90s while both of them were part of the Spanish film industry. Over the years, their relationship would develop and the two would eventually marry in a secret low-key ceremony at a friend's house in the Bahamas back in 2010. These days, Javier and Penelope live in a beautiful mansion in Beverly Hills as you might expect, so we're gonna take a look. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. As you know, Penelope Cruz and Javier Bardem are both A-listers and today, this world famous couple is still together, having been married for over a decade. Pretty rare for a Hollywood relationship. They have two children, their son Lee, and their daughter Luna, and as Penelope herself told Marie Claire in 2019, my life is a very different life, but it's the life that I always wanted since I was a little girl. My family is my priority, we like the family to be together. Well since they enjoy spending so much time with one another, I thought today we'd take a look at their home life. At the time of this recording, the couple's estimated net worth is around a combined $95 million, so you already know they're living in luxury. Hey everyone, I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer bringing you another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, this one checking out where Javier Bardem and Penelope Cruz call home. We'll look at their spectacular mansion in Beverly Hills, California and give you a taste of where this happy family spends their downtime vacationing as well. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new videos daily. As always, you can follow me over on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. was a massive year for these two superstars. Not only did they get married, but they also bought their first family home, a $3.3 million prime piece of real estate located in Beverly Hills, California. Before I tell you about the home itself, let's take a look at one of its most spectacular features, its star-studded neighborhood known as Hidden Valley. Man, even the name of this place sounds cool. Penelope and Javier chose to live here in one of the world's most glamorous communities where a large percentage of the Hollywood elite also reside. For instance, want to know who their next door neighbor is? Well, most mornings, Penelope or Javier are saying hello to Adele. And just a little bit further down the street are the homes of actress Zoe Saldana, superstar Jennifer Lawrence, as well as the family home shared by Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis. Oh, and did I mention that Katy Perry and Orlando Bloom live right around the corner as well? It's true. Now that that's out of the way, let's take a look at the home itself. This 2,538 square foot house includes four bedrooms and three full bathrooms. Considering that both Penelope and Javier are extremely private individuals, practically no images of the interior of their home have ever leaked out. But thanks to some real estate listings for the homes of their equally famous neighbors, we can get a taste of what the inside of their place is actually like. For example, all three of Adele's properties that are located in the same vicinity feature some of the most well-manicured lawns you've ever laid eyes on, as well as gorgeous swimming pools. Meanwhile, the interiors are more unassuming than you might think, with the highlights being tasteful staircases, formal living rooms, expansive marble top kitchen counters, studies with sun drenched windows, and some truly spectacular ensuite bathrooms. And while it's unlikely that the inside of Penelope and Javier's home looks just like Adele's, especially when it comes to the decor, the form and function is more than likely similar, just with their own unique flair and taste added throughout. For example, according to Javier, these two have transformed their Oscar statues into bedside table lights, which they then use to catch up on their script reading every night. Are you, you being serious? You put yeah. light bulbs on yeah. your Oscars? Yeah, and we switch them on, and we read with them, and, and we read a lot of books because that's the only way for us to remind us how good we are. He's joking, right? He's probably joking. Anyways, just because you live in one of the nicest neighborhoods in the world doesn't mean that sometimes you don't need to get away from it all. And when Javier and Penelope feel like jetting off to some exotic destination, they love to vacation at one particular rental home known as Bougain Villa, located in the Bahamas. This spectacular seven bedroom villa sleeps more than 18 people and features nine bathrooms alongside oceanfront views that can lull you to sleep at night, causing that sound machine you brought along to help you sleep completely useless. 
Oh, and did I mention that there's a private beach located right at your doorstep? Because there is. When you've got accommodations like that as a selling point, you attract some of celebrities biggest and brightest. Beyond Penelope and Javier, this spot has also been rented out by the likes of Glenn Close, as well as Connie Chung and her husband, Mr. Are You the Father himself, Maury Povich. Outside of being a designated vacation spot for some of Hollywood's A-list talent, Bougain Villa House also has been featured in photo shoots for publications like Sports Illustrated. In fact, it was the very spot where Ronda Rousey photographed her cover photos for the 2016 Swimsuit Edition. Now I know what you're thinking, that's all well and good, but can I afford the place? Well, yes and no. The nightly rate starts at around $4,000 a night. So if you happen to have around 17 other friends that you want to share the spot with you, then 222 bucks a night per person doesn't sound too unreasonable, does it? Hold that thought, I know it's still expensive, but you might change your mind when you find out that this spot also comes complete with its very own 10 passenger speedboat and a captain willing to pilot it. That kind of pushes things over the edge, doesn't it? If that's not enough, you can even sign up for their Swimming Pigs Tour, which takes you on a boat trip around a series of islands and features a Pirates of the Caribbean sandbar, shark feeding, snorkeling at a grotto made famous by the James Bond film Thunderball, and of course the titular Swimming Pigs of Staniel K. Honestly, I never knew that was a thing, but now that I do, I need to find a dozen of my closest friends pronto because I need to head there for a much needed vacation. Now that we've checked out what we know about where Penelope Cruz and Javier Bardem are living, including their main mansion in Beverly Hills, what did you guys think? While we don't know too much about their home interior, we did get to see just how they're living when they take some time off, and that was pretty impressive too. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on Penelope and Javier's luxury lifestyle in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Want to see someone else's home profile in this series? Then leave some ideas down below. Thanks for watching. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and I will catch you all in the next video. Bye!